Well, the NBA League Office's beloved 2024 Emirates NBA Cup is back, and it begins today. Now, I know, I know what you are all thinking. What the hell is the Emirates NBA Cup? Oh, come on. How could you possibly forget the legendary early season tournament spearheaded by none other than Kamish Penishead himself with the express purposes of firstly bribing this collection of pampered ass NBA players to actually compete during the regular season while secondarily rigging the random group play selections to assure his golden goose LeBron could tack one more hollow accomplishment onto the old resume. Of course, LeBron did capitalize on the red carpet treatment a year ago, running his way through a collection of sub-500 teams on the Lakers' end of the tournament to snatch that mid-season cup thing on the back, of course, of Anthony Davis's massive title game performance, dropping a 41-point, 20-rebound, 5 assist and 4 block final game line against the Pacers. That was, mind you, in a game where Austin Reeves was the Lakers' second leading scorer. Of course, LeBron would win the MVP. The walking gargoyle commissioner fanboy got to grope his personal hero on stage, and then LeBron and co. humiliated themselves in the locker room, dousing themselves in champagne and even drinking champagne out of that cup thing. And as if that wasn't pathetic enough, the pitiful ass Lakers actually hung a banner for this. And starting tonight, it is back, baby. So get ready for those putrid, insanely colored courts, massively lopsided free throw discrepancies for the Lakers, and of course, all of the elite actual championship caliber teams not really giving a damn about this exhibition joke. And to that point, since basically no one, not even the players, really understood this thing a year ago, don't worry, I have you covered, let's review the rules. Firstly, the tournament begins tonight. Did I mention that already? Group play will run through December 3rd, with tourney games being played on Tuesdays and Friday evenings. The quarterfinals will take place on December 10th and 11th, with the semifinals on December 14th, and the championship game being played out on December 17th. Each conference will be comprised of three groups containing five teams in each. Each team will play four group play games, one against each team in their grouping, two at home and two on the road. Eight teams will then advance from the group play round to the knockout stage, with the final four advancing on to Vegas, baby. That's right, those final two games, as they were last season, will be played out in Las Vegas, with every player on the win team getting $500,000 while the players on the runner-up team will get 200k each. I mean hell, these players aren't making enough money already anyways, right? So yeah, not much has changed this season except the Lakers are actually in a more difficult random bracket this time around. At least it did look difficult with the top two teams being the Oklahoma City Thunder and Phoenix Suns. Of course, the Suns will now be without Kevin Durant for a couple weeks, while Chet Holmgren will be out at least two months following a nasty fall that resulted in a broken hip. That is why the Thunder, meanwhile, are mighty thin now all of a sudden on the front line with their big free agent acquisition, Isaiah Hartenstein, still out for a few weeks with a broken hand. So actually not too difficult to imagine the Lakers slipping their way into the knockout round yet again on the back of Anthony Davis. Not surprisingly, the Boston Celtics are currently the betting favorites at this time to win this random cup trophy thing. Though hilariously enough, the Celtics random group just happens to include the 12-0 Cleveland Cavaliers, who also just happen to be the only other team in the entire 
Eastern Conference that has a winning record. And while no one took this thing seriously last year, other than of course LeBron, his pathetic fan base, and pathetic organization, it is back by unpopular demand because the league offices seem to think it is an instrumental addition to the current league configuration, just like their idiotic play in tournament. And it is anyone's guess as to why the NBA viewership continues to plummet to unimaginable record lows amid such genius leadership at the top.